Hey guys, Tajam here. I was having an issue with tearing on my stream. Now, it was being broadcast as tearing as well, so everybody that was watching was seeing this issue too. I was noticing really bad tearing on my OBS uh, preview screen as well, so it was definitely visible that it was there. I tried lots of different things before I finally found the solution, and the solution is relatively simple. Now, before we carry on, I just want to make it clear that I'm actually using a streaming rig, as I said, and I'm using a capture card. Now, I use an external capture card, which is actually this one here. Yeah, not an advert, but um, yeah. So I use the Avermedia LGP Lite. Now, it doesn't mean this won't work with other capture cards, and in fact, it should be exactly the same process, and it should be the same fix. So without further ado, we're going to move on. And what I'm going to do from now on is I'm just going to show you my desktops. So I'm just going to move over to here. Now, what you can see here is the main background there where you have OBS and my... Um, uh you know pc master race background there that is my streaming rigs desktop you know around here and um you know where you can see here roughly where the mouse is right now that is exactly what my capture card is currently capturing then on the other screen here you can see that this is my gaming rig as you can see by here you can see the free hugs uh background which is also being duplicated and now that you can see my mouse is only where the capture card is now this is because my capture card is acting as a second monitor which is probably where you're going wrong with your actual setup and if we go back to my gaming rig here you're probably not running yours like this the way you're running it is probably like this you've got the one two and you're duplicating exactly what your gaming rig is seeing straight onto your capture card i don't know if this is technically what's wrong I think what is the problem in my case is that I run a 120 hertz monitor. So when I duplicate onto my capture card, is it struggling to handle the refresh rate? Is it dealing with its own refresh rate at the same time as dealing with the refresh rate of the monitor? Are they conflicting? Is that what's causing the tearing issue? I don't know. But what I do know is when I set my monitor to exactly the same refresh rate as the capture card, which is 60, I still had the same issue. When I set VSync to being on, I had the same issue. Didn't matter what I tried, when it was like this here, where it was duplicated, that's where I had the issue. Now to fix this, you just set it to extended. So this now acts as your gaming monitor, which is how it would do normally. And number one here, for me, the numbers may be different for you, is exactly what you see on my capture card, as you can see over here on the uh, streaming rig display. So that's the easy part done. You just switch them across like this. The slightly more difficult part, which is still very easy, is what you now need to do is you now need to run OBS on your gaming rig. So I have it already set up here. As you can see, this is now running on my streaming rig. It doesn't really matter which version you're running. I'm running 64-bit. That wasn't a conscious choice. Um, if you have issues, obviously drop down to the 32-bit. And on the streaming rig, I'm actually running a 32-bit. It doesn't matter because these two versions of OBS do not communicate whatsoever there's literally no interaction with them at all so to set this up we use you create a game capture source window capture or display capture however you choose to do it now bear in mind that game capture is the most efficient and i think it's window capture next and then display capture now for i for uh, information's sake here it's exactly how i have it capture any full screen application and i have the use andy cheat compatibility compatibility hook on I also have this turned off for Steam and Origin and Ubisoft or whatever you want because that makes it easier for me to respond to messages that get sent to me on Steam without showing them on Steam just in case something questionable is said to me in a Steam message to try and get onto the stream. So once you've done that, now please ignore these here. You know, Realistically, these don't all exist. This here is just the gaming rig thing here just so it makes it easy to distinguish which is which while you're watching and while they're side by side, for example. You just looking at this you don't need to have your microphone on you don't need to have desktop audio on whatsoever what we need to do next is just right click this sort of scene whatever you've called it full screen projector and then set it over now i want you to pay attention to the streaming rig desktop which is currently got the capture card overlay now the capture card overlay as you can see it's just the picture of a background normally you would have that full screen in your obs to display so if i just Oops, if I just uh, move this across here. Normally you would have it like this, for example. So 
you would see the full game full screen and it would stream full screen but just for this here we're just going to move that back down there and then you just click display now as you can see this here now is capturing what is being duplicated onto the capture card so if we go back over to here it's simply this and this if you bear with me while I load a game okay you should now be seeing exactly what is captured on my display here so you're seeing the game you're hearing the game you're seeing an overlay here in the corner for the uh, FPS if I do shift tab you see everything that's on my display if I alt tab you're gonna see all of these little things here that I'm currently using now you probably notice nothing else is on the capture card that's because I haven't done the projection so now what I do here is I project it over to the capture card and as you can see this is now showing over on the capture card on the streaming rig and that's it that that fixes the issue it's very simple uh, when it comes to audio you just do it in the same way that you were doing it before whether that was um, using voice meter banana to push it into an audio source if you were doing it how I do it which is by 3.5 millimeter splitter through the 3.5 millimeter jack on the actual capture card or if you just simply have a, an option in your recording settings in Windows to listen to a certain device on another device which then transfers it over and that's pretty much it guys that is, is very simple to do it fixes the tearing issue uh, let me just close out of this one second and you'll notice down here that my CPU usage is relatively low okay um, this is because I'm recording when you're actually using this OBS on your gaming rig and you're not encoding because encoding because you don't need to press start streaming stop recording uh, start recording or I'll do anything whatsoever it's purely a visual thing and for using the projector here um, for me on an i7 2700k at 4.2 gigahertz overclock it's two percent CPU usage which is negligible pretty much I don't notice any issues whatsoever so let's just get just my face back here we are um, that's it guys it's very simple to do if you have any questions drop them in the comments below if not then come and find me on my twitch channel and ask me some questions there because i'm more than happy to oblige and if i'm not very busy i'll more than likely switch out the scenes and show you what you're probably asking for anyway okay that's it thanks